when did this come in? What? This letter, Dr. Green. Oh, stick it in his box, I'll mail it to his house. No, it's from Dr. Green. To who? Everyone, I guess. What's it say? It says, Dear ER Gang. Ooh, we're a gang now. Oh, yeah, we got a secret handshake and everything. <laughs> While you in Phoenix, kill Hunt Carter. Dear ER Gang, so here I am, out on the beach at 5.30 in the evening. Elizabeth is sitting with me drinking juice, but I'm all about the Mai Tais. What's your reading? Dr. Green sent a letter. The sun is going down. Rachel is dipping Ella's toes in the ocean as they head off on a quest for the perfect seashell. <laughs> well, I wish you were here. Would have done and it. Weirdly yeah, enough, I find <laughs> myself thinking, you know what would make this moment complete? Some jogger dropping to the sand short of breath so I can swoop in with a piece of bamboo to perform a nice, clean intubation. What's this? It's Mark. Fix the guy up and send him off with a good, simple dispo. <laughs> the day I start fantasizing about critical procedures is the day I leave, too. Which I guess is my way of saying that I miss you all. And that dingy place. Look, Kovacs, you want another five of you? <laughs> Lots Dr. of times Green. I thought I should have chosen a different career or gone into private practice, something easier, less grinding, more lucrative. But since I've been gone, <clears throat> I realize that outside of what I'm doing right now, sitting on this beach with my family, Staying at County all those years, doing what we do on a daily basis, was the best choice I ever made. I know what you're thinking, but trust me, it's not so hard to appreciate once it's over. I think that's the Mai Tais talking. <laughs> Shut up, keep reading. As much as part of me would like to believe that the ER can't go on without me, the smarter part realizes that you're an incredible group of doctors and nurses who approach every day with such skill compassion and thoroughness that when it comes to patient care I know my absence will hardly be felt <laughs> I'm not so sure of that as for friendship and camaraderie well that's another matter in order to leave I had to go the way I did but I wouldn't want any of you to think that that meant I didn't value each of you in the years that we worked together or that I didn't have things of a more personal nature to say most of you, I think, have an idea of what those things might be without me writing them down, but still. Go on. That's just a couple dots, and then uh, Ella is laughing and waving for me. Rachel's found her shell. <laughs> Nothing else? Probably jammed. That damn machine's been on the fritz all week. Is there a transmission report? So he faxes the letter, so he doesn't have to send the macadamia. <laughs> anyway, what is it? This is from Dr. Corday. Mark died this morning at 6.04 a.m. The sun was rising, his favorite time of day. <clears throat> I sent this on so that you might know he was thinking of you all. And that it, he, appre he appreciated knowing you would remember him well. Frank. That last part. The whole thing. <laughs>